Today I'm going to subject my old iPhone 4 to a series of brutal tests, or at least attempt to. These things were built like brick shit houses. Test number one. So first up we're going to see how this phone manages against the wheel of a car which is being driven by a man with a blurred face. I'm sort of glad that didn't break because I was expecting it to break and now we can move on to the next test. Test number one. And test number two is quite simply dropping it from this balcony. Right, here we go. Ready? Ooh. Oh, there we go. A little bit of a crack, but uh, let's destroy this phone and move on to test number three. Test number three. We only had the budget for three tests. Uh -huh. And now it's time to smash this apple with a hammer. <laughs> only joking. Right, here we go. I'm amazed that it is actually still in one piece, although it feels a lot lighter now, that's for sure. Maybe they should have made it this light originally when they first released it, but durability, that's for sure. I don't know if a Nokia 3310 would last something like that. It was shit for focus, but it's alright.